Okay, situation 21. A simply supported beam has a span of 12 meters. It carries a total uniform distributed load of 21.5 kN per meter. To prevent excessive deflection, a support is added at the mid-span. So, simply supported beam. Okay, let's say this is A and B. 12 meters uh, yung span natin. The uniform load carried... Uh, Carried by the beam is 21.5 kN per meter. Okay? So, to prevent excessive deflection, meron tayong dinagdag na support dito sa kitna at the mid-span. Okay, at the mid-span, of course, half nito is 6 meters. So, calculate the reaction at the added support. Moment at the added support or moment at C. Tinago siyang point C. And the resulting maximum positive moment. Okay, so uh, this is an indeterminate beam. By theory, gagamitan natin ng uh, any methods, no? Pwede siya double integration, pwede siya uh, area moment method, or any other methods na alam mo. Alright, now yung gagamitin ko dito, um, for board exam purposes, gagamitan ko siya ng technique na, of course, we need to memorize formulas din. Yung mga common formulas na magbibigay sa atin ng ano, a time efficiency pagdating sa board exam. For me, kailangan talaga mag-memorize kahit yung mga basic formulas lang. Or uh, common type of loadings. So, of course, ito yung reactions natin. Wala tayong horizontal load, kaya wala tayong horizontal reaction. Now, mangyayari dito, first method, I will use the superposition method. Okay, halimbawa, ito yung beam natin. Because of this uniformly distributed load, of course, yung beam natin will deflect like this. Okay, tawagin ko yung uh, delta W. Now, for a simply supported beam, okay, meron tayong derived formula for the uh, maximum deflection. Of course, nasa gitna yan. That is 5WL4, L raised to 4 over 384EI. Okay? Sometimes need talaga natin itong i-memorize, no? Para mapabilis yung uh, calculation natin. Kahit yung mga common or basic loadings lang. A base, uh, and also basic uh, common types of support of beams. Okay, another one is uh, for a concentrated load at the mid-span. Of course, magde-deflect siya pa ganyan. Okay, yung deflection formula naman nito is PL cube over 48 EI. Concentrated load at the mid-span. So, gagamitin natin to in order for us to use the superposition method. Alright? So, tabi ko lang siya. Balay yung magiging behavior ng beam dito, because of this uniformly distributed load, gaganito siya. Kung wala pa yung ating reaction at C. Now, because of this concentrated load reaction at C, ibabalik yan dito. So, ito yung ating elastic curve. Okay, so ano yung napansin nyo? What will be the equation? Alright, our equation will be, uh, first, you have here delta W. No? Delta W dito. Then, binalik ng concentrated load at the midspan. So that is the delta P caused by concentrated load. So the final deflection at that point is equal to zero. And that is the superposition method. So, separate natin yung deflection. Okay? Again, initially, kung titingnan natin yung animation natin, no? initially, magde-deflect siya. So, this is our delta W. But because of this additional support at C, of course, yung uh, final deflection dito magiging zero. So, binalik siya na concentrated load at the midspan. So, magiging zero siya. Uh, that's why the equation will look like this. Delta W minus delta P equal to zero. That is the final deflection at that point. Alright, so I can just um, transpose delta P. We can have delta W equals delta P. Now, anong gamit niya? With delta W in terms of um, this formula, okay, and yung delta P naman in terms of this formula, where P is our RC. So, dito natin makukuha yung reaction at C. And yan yung tinatanong sa number 1. Kasi kumpleto yan. Mangyayari dito, magka-cancel yung EI. 
the same material yan. Da? So, matitira is 5W, 21.5. Okay, yung length natin dyan, uh, take note, that must be the total length, 12 millimeters. Okay? So, another one, kinancel ko rin to. Ito siya, cancel, L cube. Kaya, uh, naging L na lang tayo dito, 12 meters. Divided by 384 AI. Then, equal. Again, na-cancel ko na to. And also this one. Over, uh, equal to RC over 48. Kuha natin yung reaction at the other support. That is 161.25 kilo newtons. Mas mabilis. Uh, compared na gamitan natin ng uh, double integration, area moment, mas mabilis pag meron tayong alam na formula. Sa board exam kasi ganito lang yung mga lumalabas. Hindi na yung mga complicated na loadings or complicated na beam support. Ganito lang yung mga common type of loads. Okay, number two. Calculate the resulting maximum positive moment. Uh, resulting maximum positive moment. Okay, 62. At the added support. Mali yung nasulat ko. Okay, part 2. Sandali lang. Let me correct it. Number 62. Okay, for a while. Alright, take note, yung tinatanong is a resulting moment at the added support sa number 62. At the added support. Yung 63 yung uh, maximum positive moment. So, sa number 62, okay, ang gagawin ko, kunin na lang natin yung reaction at A or the reaction at B. With symmetry, they are just equal. So, after natin makuha yung dalawa, either of these two, ikat na lang natin to solve for the moment. Okay? So, summation of forces vertical ako to solve for this reaction. We have here RA plus RB upward plus RC equal to the total downward force that is 21.5 times total length of sub meters. Again, by symmetry, RA and RB are equal. So, I can just say that it is 2RA plus RC 161.25 equal to this. Kuha natin si RA. Okay. After that, I can cut that one here. O, kung gusto natin i-drawing yung uh, moment diagram, although hindi na kailangan, ito yung mangyayari. Okay. Share diagram muna. Aakyat, aakyat tayo ng RA. Alright. RA is 48.375. Then minus this area in between the span AC. So, 48.375 minus 21.5 times 6. You'll get here negative 80.625. So, ito na yung ating, uh, ano, yung uh, inahanap pala is moment. No? Shear diagram pa to. So, after this one, by the way, it is a straight line. For example, hindi ito required i-drawing. Yung values lang. Okay? Ah, ginawa ko lang dito para kompleto yung solution. So, from negative 80.625, aakya tayo ng 161.25. So, the result will be 80.625. Equal yan kasi symmetry. Then, 80.625 minus the load under this segment. The load here is 21.5 by 6. So, it is linearly changing kasi constant yung ating um, load. Babalik, babalik tayo dito sa negative 48.375. And of course, yung reaction dito kay B is 48.375. Uh, Aakya tayo. So, babalik yan to zero. So, yung diagram to. Now, moment diagram. So, dito, when the shear is zero, that's the location of the positive, a uh, maximum moment. In this case, that's the maximum positive moment. So, aakya tayo. And since the, the slope is changing, I mean the shear is changing, so, linearly changing yung slope natin. In other words, if this is first degree, second degree, curve ito. Dito yung maximum positive moment natin. Then, if we minus natin yung area na yan, that will give us negative moment here. That is the moment at C. 
So, symmetrical yung ating uh, shear diagram. Kaya ganito yung magiging itsura. Again, for, uh, sa board exam, hindi natin to kailangan i-drawing. Gusto lang natin makuha dito is yung absolute value. Yung value lang mismo. No? So, maraming ways to solve for that directly. Again, hindi natin to kailangan i-drawing. For me, okay, for me, uh, ito pala yung hinahanap sa number 62. I-cut ko na lang sa dito. Although we can solve this one here using the uh, moment diagram and the shear diagram. Pero mas better, para hindi ka na mag-draw, i-cut na lang natin siya at point C. So ito yung makikita natin. Of course, we have here the shear reaction, shear force, and the bending moment at C. Okay, so kuha natin dito. Defining the bending moment at C, the bending moment is the sum of the moment to the left of that point. So you will have here RA times 6 that will bend upward. So positive 48.375 over RA times moment arm 6. Then the, uh, the uniform load will bend that one downward. So negative bending. So negative 21.5 times 6. So naging concentrated load yan. Then moment arm is half of 6. Kuha natin yung moment at C. A negative bending moment. That's 96.75 kilonewton meters. Okay. So, mas madali rin dito kung alam natin directly yung formula. So, the formula, pag ganito yung setup, formula at the added support. Basta equal lens. Okay? Basta equal lens tayo. Take note, yung L dyan is yung um, length per segment. 6 meters. You may memorize this one, no? Para mas mapabilis yung pag-solve uh, natin dito sa board exam. It's, it is either ito yung i-memorize natin or yung deflection formula. Kasi pag alam natin to, meron ka ng moment dito, then you can solve all of the reactions. So, hindi ka na dadaan doon sa superposition. So, ikaw na ang pumili. Alright. So, sa number 3, yung positive moment. Again, yung positive moment, the maximum positive moment is located where the shear diagram is zero. So we need to locate this one first. Of course, the same yan on the other side. Okay, now para makuha ko yan, I will still use this one. Hindi ko na gagamitan ng ratio and proportion or di ko, um, inasis ko na hindi ko drinawing yung ating diagram. No? Gagawin ko, alright, assume lang ko ng value dito. Of course, alam natin in between this pan AC yung ating uh, maximum positive moment. So, X, of course, meron kang shear dyan and tawag ko yung MP. So, to locate first the X, we know that the shear force here, the shear force here is zero. So, I can say that um, uh, summation of forces vertical, you have here RA upward, 48.375, then minus the area, 21.5 times X. So that will define the shear force here and alam natin at the positive, maximum positive moment, it is zero. Pakuha natin yung x, 2.25. Kung alam na natin yung location ng positive moment, then ikat na lang din natin or tingnan na lang natin dito. So that positive moment is the sum of moment at the left side. Mas mabilis, tingnan natin yung left side. So that is for uh, RA. 48.375 times x minus 21.5 times x moment arm is x over 2. So, kuha natin siya. 54.422. By the way, lumabas ito uh, November 2021. You can see this video, no? Kung member ka, sa no November 2021 board exam na playlist natin. 